As we enter 2024, there's a lot of questions and uncertainties of what to expect with the real estate market in Greater Vancouver. And there's no question that interest rates have played a huge role in real estate prices since the beginning of COVID. But as interest rates begin to stabilize, we should be shifting our focus to what really drives any market, not just the real estate market, supply and demand people. So what's it gonna be in 2024? Boom or bust? Let's find out. Hey everyone, I'm Ali Neitzel and welcome to Own Reed Vancouver Real Estate Market Updates. Yes, I'm a realtor by profession, but I can honestly say that my opinions are completely non-biased to my profession. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one and leave a comment below because I want to hear your predictions for the market in 2024. Interest rates. They're still one of the hotter topics when it comes to real estate in Metro Vancouver, for now anyways. Canada's prime rate is sitting just over 7%, and dare I say it, have stabilized. And interest rates are actually finally forecasted to go down later this year. When it comes to interest rates, there are two basic types. Fixed, where you're locked into your rate for a predetermined term, or variable where your interest rate can fluctuate throughout that predetermined term. Right now, I've seen fixed interest rates advertised for around 5%. When interest rates finally start to drop, the prime rate will drop, but the fixed interest rate will stay the same. Think about that for a second. How many interest rate drops is it gonna take to get the prime rate below 5%? The reality is it's gonna take a long time for the prime rate to get below 5%. And when it finally does, fixed rates are probably gonna be hovering around that mark anyways. And unless the government eliminates or reduces the stress test, it's gonna be extremely hard for buyers to still qualify. As for mortgage renewals, Many people who are locked into that record low rate are up for renewal this year, with only a small portion who have to renew in 2025. There's a lot of speculation out there on whether or not people are gonna lose their homes. Choosing a lower fixed rate and adding on to your existing amortization period are just a couple options for homeowners to help ease that blow. So will there be enough homes lost to burst the bubble? My professional opinion is no, and here's why. Supply and demand. Right now, and for a while now, we've been experiencing a shortage of inventory. With no inventory to choose from, homeowners aren't gonna be too keen on pulling the trigger on any home that doesn't suit their needs. On the flip side, spring is right around the corner which is historically the time of year with the most inventory. And people might choose to sell their home if they can't afford their mortgages. And what if buyers can't complete on their pre-sales that they purchased three years ago? What about the demand? Between permanent residents and non-permanent residents, Canada is bringing in around a million people a year, and we're not building enough homes for that. The government's new legislation to increase housing density will definitely help with that, but it's gonna be an extremely long time before we see those effects. Metro Vancouver is already experiencing a housing shortage without taking immigration into effect. Why do you think rental rates have soared through the roof? Investors are taking note of these high rental rates and positive cash flow will look more realistic as prices drop. Not to mention, last but certainly not least, we live in Metro Vancouver, which is one of the most strongest and resilient markets in the world. Right now, we're sitting comfortably in a balanced market for all property types in Metro Vancouver. With low inventory and dropping interest rates, we could see a surge in activity, but nothing to the extent that we saw during COVID-19. On the flip side, 
If inventory increases and buyers don't qualify for their mortgage, we could see an increase in inventory, which could put some pressure downward on prices. So what's it gonna be, Ollie? Boomer bust in 2024. My professional opinion is honestly neither. I think that we're gonna see a pretty balanced market for 2024 and we could see it shift into a seller's market or a buyer's market in the same year potentially. I hope this forecast sheds some light on what to expect moving forward into 2024. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like and drop a comment below because I wanna hear your thoughts and predictions for the real estate market in Metro Vancouver. Boomer bust people, let me know.